I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to use Snapseed and I can show you the basics of how to use it. So I'm going to use a picture that was taken on a foggy winter day which could be very beautiful but originally this photo appears a little bit too dark and it doesn't make the fog look as beautiful as it did in real life. So I'm going to import that and now I have it here and down on the bottom here I have my menu if I turn my phone it will automatically adjust so you have to do whatever you prefer and you can kinda of go through these little menu items as needed so you can try doing automatic and if you scroll up or down you can see these different buttons so I'm doing the contrast by going left and right I can make it less or more that way and you have to fiddle with these and then if I could go up and down again then I can get the color correction one and once again now I go left to right to do that if I like it then I'm going to press the forward arrow if I don't like it I press the backward arrow to undo anything that I did so I'm going to say this is a little bit better and I press the forward arrow the next one, the next button that I typically use is the tune image. So I just clicked on that and then once again if I go up and down, if I touch up and down in the center of the picture I get these different menu items. So when I'm on brightness, now I'm going left to right, I go right and it's brightening up my photo. You can also try and see if doing the ambiance helps at all contrast again and saturation you can make it very saturated or if you unsaturate it will make it very black and white white balance I want it a little bit cooler so I might put it down a little bit and then I can press this there's other little things like straighten and cropping sharpening and drama this usually does a lot click on that and then if you click the star you're going to see different options here. I'm really looking for the foggy look so I like the bright too and then you can also adjust how much you want the filter how strong you want the filter to be. If you want to add some other little preset filters you can play with some of those as well You can also add some texture and you can play with all those different buttons. I'm not going to commit to that one so I'm going to go backward arrow. Now if you have one little place in your picture that needs spot editing, you're going to press the selective adjust. And then I can press the little plus button over here and then click on the area that you want to adjust. And notice a little, I get a little B over here for brightness and I can make that circle area smaller or bigger and if I go up or down I'm going to get different menu items so that means if I just want to adjust that one little part of the picture I can do that while I'm still leaving the rest alone and you can also copy and paste that adjustment to different areas of your photo as well you've got to try all the other ones a little here but basically it's the same idea and then when you're ready and you're finished you can press the little rectangle at the top of the screen with the arrow button and you can decide whether you want to open another app, save it, or send it to other different social networking sites. And that's it. Enjoy!